In this tutorial, I will introduce you to Power Pop-Ups. This feature allows you to add interactive pop-ups and panels to your SharePoint site. Let's see it in action. Click Edit and add new web part. Select Power Pop-Ups. Click Edit Properties. Now you'll see a list of configurations. First, we have trigger configuration. This trigger can be a button, link, or image, and you can add custom button text. Next, we have content configuration, which allows you to show Power Pop-Up in border or frame with a custom width and height. It also allows you to select the pop-up source. That can be page URL HTML editor or rich text editor. You can add any URL to your pop-up. I will use this page URL in the pop-up. Next, we have Power Pop-Up Configuration. This allows you to choose the pop-up type pop-up or panel. I have selected pop-up. In Power Pop-Up's app open event, select auto open. You can enable the hide pop-up trigger. Additionally, it allows you to schedule pop-ups between two specific dates and times. You can also limit the auto open pop-up by setting the max auto pop-up show count and specifying a delay time in seconds. It also allows auto close pop-up where you can set auto close pop-up after in seconds. Next, it also includes features like redirect visitor on close, where you can add a redirect URL, redirect target, redirect trigger, pop-up position, and pop-up animation. Next, we have the ability to enable the pop-up close button. This feature allows us to customize the close button style, close button align, and close button place. It also includes the option to enable the escape key, allowing the pop-up to close when pressed. Additionally, you can enable the draggable pop-up. Next, we have overlay configurations, where you can enable is overlay visible and can overlay click close the pop-up with the overlay animation. Next is inner content configuration, which allows content to be animated with content animation. Then we have target audience, where you can target selected users or selected SharePoint groups. Once you're done, close the editor and republish your site. After republishing your site, you'll notice that the pop-up is now visible on the screen. Next, let's take a look at the panel. Click on Edit, select Power Pop-ups, and click on Edit Properties. You'll now see a list of configurations. Select Power Pop-up Configuration in Pop-up Type Select Panel and enter the panel title. Next, we can select the panel heading style and customize width based on our requirement. Select Auto Open in Power Pop-ups app Open Event. It also allows you to enable the Hide Panel trigger, Schedule Panel, and Limit Auto Open Panel, same as Pop-up. Once you've configured panel, close the editor and republish your site. After republishing, you will see the changes. I hope you enjoyed this tool. Thank you for watching!